Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita Nanwani here and today here we are to simplify the very important topic of lysosomal storage disorders with easy mnemonics and tricks. Before we start with the discussion of this topic, I want to quickly tell you an important update on the platform that is the Great Learning Festival where now you get an Academy subscription for free, a 7 day free trial from 1st of May to 3rd of May if you sign up. So basically you get a 7 day free trial with the access to all the lectures on the platform. And you can start learning on the platform for free. You can use the code Dr. Nikita while signing up. So starting with the discussion of this topic here. So if you are given this image in the exam and you are asked, identify the various labeled lysosomal storage disorders. So the first one is where you are seeing the enzyme deficiency will lead to the accumulation of GM2 ganglioside. Remember 2 is that is Tay-Sachs disease. So remember Tay-Sachs is GM2 gangliosidosis. The enzyme deficient is hexose aminidase A. Second one, ceramide trihexoside accumulating. Tri is Fabry. So remember it is Fabry's where you have alpha galactosidase deficiency. So remember galactosidase deficiency, alpha and beta. Alpha is Fabry's. Beta is crabs, right? Double B is beta. Fabry has single B, it is alpha. Third one where you have sulfatides accumulating. So basically that is the enzyme deficiency of aryl sulfatase. Aryl sulfatase is deficient in metachromatic leukodystrophy. Fourth one is where you have accumulation of galactocerebroside. So the enzyme deficient is galactocerebrosidase or beta galactosidase, which we said is crabs. Okay, that is crabs. Fifth one where you have the accumulation of glucocerebroside. So glucocerebrosidase deficiency is in gauchos. So remember gauchos has U in its spelling. So it is glucocerebrosidase or beta glucosidase. Next one is sphingomyelin accumulating. So sixth one is sphingomyelinase deficiency. This is sphingomyelinase deficiency. So remember NIP, this is Nimenpix. Sphingomyelinase is Nimenpix. All of these disorders are autosomal recessive except, remember, Fabry's is like Fabrix, which is X-linked recessive. So it is Fabrix, which is X-linked recessive alpha galactosidase. Let's have a look at the important features here. Very, very important, this appearance of the cell here. This is the crumpled or the wrinkled tissue paper appearance, which is seen with gauchos. So this you can remember as in gauchos, the patient has a lot of pain. There is bone pain which is present. So the patient says, ouch, ouch. Gauchos is ouch, ouch. So the doctor gives the tissue paper to wipe the tears. So ouch, ouch is pain and that is crumpled paper appearance. Next one, where you see the skin lesions like this, these are called as angiokeratomas. Angiokeratomas are a feature in Febreze. Remember, Febreze is like a fabric. Imagine this fabric has these multiple small dots. So that is Febreze has this angiokeratomas. The unique feature of this fabric is if you wear this fabric, you do not get any sweating. So one of the feature in Febreze is hypohydrosis. Hypohydrosis. It can cause nephrotic syndrome, renal failure also. And that's why we can see the Maltese cross in urine. Next one where you have the cherry red spot. Remember cherry red two words is seen in the diseases which have two words. That is Tay-Sachs and Nimenpix. The difference is Tay-Sachs T4 T has tiny organs. That means no hepatosplenomegaly. Nimenpix is big, big. So there are big organs. There is hepatosplenomegaly which is present. Next we have is this where you see the foam cells. The white, white. That is the foam cells. And foam cells is seen with Nimenpix. So imagine for Nimenpix is the person who is crossing the zebra crossing. So there are zebra bodies. While crossing the zebra crossing, the person is putting the finger in the nose, the finger in the nose, that is sphingomyelinase, nimenpix. And from that, the foam is coming out, right? A dirty mnemonic, but I'm sure you would remember that. So remember, it's the foam coming out from the nose. So it is foam cells, so zebra bodies are seen in nimenpix, right? So these are the important images related to lysosomal storage disorders. And that was a quick snippet with the easy mnemonics from this important topic. Hope you have liked it. If yes, do not forget to put a thumbs up and see you again soon. Till then, goodbye. Take care. 
and keep studying, keep revising and keep winning. Thank you.